Hello. My name is Brian. You may know me as BJ Bink. I bet you didn't know I was a robot. Ha ha ha. I will be showing you two different styles of bevels. One with a solid color, and one with a pattern. The first thing we need to do is find our artwork. To do this, open your internet browser and type the address seen on the screen. Once you find your apps icon, right-click, and copy it. Now open the Jaku template in Photoshop. Once the template is open, we need to create two new layers. Start by selecting the base layer and clicking the New Layer button. We'll name it Base Design. Now select the Bevel layer and click the New Layer button. We'll name this layer Bevel Design. Now, right-click the Bevel Design layer and select the Create Clipping Mask menu item. Now you should see small arrows beside each layer. Except the original base and bevel layers. These arrows indicate that a clipping mask has been applied to the layer. These are very important and should be double-checked before saving your icon. Now you are ready to paste your artwork into the template. First, select the base design layer. Then paste the artwork into the template. Next, open the edit menu and select free transform. Now, click the small link icon in the transform toolbar. This will ensure your image maintains its proper aspect ratio. You can skip this step and simply hold the shift button while resizing. Once you have it sized and aligned the way you want, press enter. Now, we need to make the bevel match. With the base design layer selected, open the select menu and choose the All Menu item. Then, open the Edit menu and choose the Copy Menu item. Now, select the Bevel Design layer and paste the image we just copied. Now, it's usually a good idea to darken the bevel just a bit. To do this, make sure the bevel design layer is selected, then open the image menu, then the adjustment submenu, and choose the levels menu item. In the levels dialog, drag the white slider to somewhere around 180 to 200. You can play around with these settings to achieve the desired effect. You could stop there. But as you can see, there is not much contrast between the bevel and the top of the icon. To fix this, double-click the base layer and select the bevel and emboss section. Now set the depth to 50%. The size to 1 pixel. The highlight opacity to between 20 and 30 percent. Now, change the shadow color to white. And the shadow mode to screen. Lastly, set the shadow opacity to between 20 and 30 percent.
Not bad, eh? Now, I want to quickly show you how to extend a pattern onto the bevel. With the base design layer selected, choose the single row marquee tool. Now, select the very bottom row of pixels and copy them. Then select the bevel design layer and paste the row of pixels we selected. Now, select free transform from the edit menu. Stretch the row of pixels to cover the bevel. Now follow the same steps outlined earlier, to darken the bevel and add the bevel and emboss settings to the base layer. I hope this video has been a help to you. Good luck.